Bankman Fried started the interview by saying he's deeply sorry about what happened. I didn't ever try to commit fraud on anyone, Bankman Fried, SBF, said. He claims he was shocked by what happened this month. I have limited access to data, Bankman Fried said about his attempt to reconstruct what happened over the past month, which makes us wonder, if he didn't have the data, who did? When pressed by Sorkin, Bankman Fried said in quote, I didn't knowingly commingle funds in quote, which we note is not a denial, and as NYT notes, on the commingling of funds, there appears to be ample evidence suggests that Alameda and FTX shared an account at their U.S. banking partner Silvergate. Not sure how that could square with SBF's claim that that didn't occur, or wasn't aware it was occurring. Over and over again, SBF calls it in. And quote, accounting mistake and quote, claiming that there was a difference between FTX's audited financials versus FTX's internal dashboards showing Alameda's positions. SBF tries to distance himself from the trading firm, claiming he did not have the bandwidth to run two companies, FTX and Alameda. I wasn't running Alameda, he says. I was nervous because of the conflict of interest of being too involved. Clearly SBF is attempting to throw Caroline Ellison, the former CEO of Alameda under the bus as responsible for the downfall. Asked when he knew there was a problem, he responded in quote, November 6th and quote, which just happens to be the day that Changpeng Zhao, also known as CZ, publicly tweeted he'd be liquidating Binance's holdings of FTT. When they looked at the data, they realized there was a potential, serious problem there, he says. Alameda's position was huge on FTX, and it had just taken a huge hit. When asked by Sorkin if his lawyers support him speaking publicly about this, SBF says in quote, no they are very much not, and quote, I have a duty to talk and to explain what happened. I'm looking to be helpful anywhere I can with any of the global entities, he says. SBF framed the whole debacle as a risk management problem that got out of hand in what he calls a and quote, run on the bank, and quote, and that he was unaware of any actions taken by Alameda. SBF notably squirmed uncomfortably when asked if he is concerned about criminal liability, stuttering the comment that and quote, there's a time and a place for me to think about myself and my own future. I don't think this is it. And quote, I don't personally think that I have criminal liability. Perhaps the most memorable line of the whole thing was this, and quote, look, I've had a bad month, and quote, asterisk 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 as we discussed last week. Sam Bankman Fried has now demonstrated that he is both a pathological liar and a sociopath, the kind who in and quote, explaining and quote, to his employees how he stole billions, over $4 billion. According to new FTX CEO John J. Ray, from the now bankrupt FTX, an act which left it insolvent and without liquidity, called it in quote, loans in quote, which were in quote, generally in quote, not used for in quote, large amounts of personal consumption in quote, just in quote, small amounts in quote, used for such trivial items as $40 million penthouses and private jets. And the only reason we don't officially call him a criminal just yet, is because he has not yet confirmed he used client money from his exchange to fund his personal hedge fund, an act which would cost any other individual decades in jail, but not prominent Democrats like SBF or John Corzine, of course. Plus it's the U.S. legal system's job to do that, not ours. Although we are growing increasingly skeptical this prominent Democratic donor will ever see the inside of a courtroom. It's not just us, with much of the entire world demanding to know how this corpulent 30-year-old still has not been thrown in prison.
or at least charged with a variety of crimes, the NYT has now confirmed to the entire world what a farce the one-time paper of record has become, and how it is willing to whore itself out for clicks. Not to mention prominent Democrat donors, because following such luminaries as Janet Yellen, Larry Fink, Mark Zuckerberg, and Volodymyr Zelensky, none other than SBF will be speaking with Andrew Ross Sorkin at the NYT Dealbook and Quat Summit and Quat this evening.